Good evening, Puckheads. This is your captain speaking once again. And this is time for some centennial action. Because I finally received something that it took me forever to get out of here. And that is a Toronto Maple Leaf Centennial set. Now, I know this came out sometime in, I guess, September or something. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I couldn't find blasters. I couldn't find tins. I couldn't find anything of it. And then I, 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 I sent a message to uh, Steel City Collectibles. And they said it was a Canada-only release. I'm like, oh, man, that blows. Me, I live here in New York. So what I ended up having to do, do the old eBay thing, which is fine. And nobody was selling, selling hobby boxes. I couldn't find hobby boxes anywhere. And then this one dude, who didn't really even say describe it as a hobby box, but he said it was a box that had two autographs, which is what the hobby box has. So I was hoping maybe that was it. I sent this guy, a, uh, he, he, he's offered it. I said, he's making an offer. So I made an offer for $20 less than what he was offering. Figured he's going to deny it and then... You know, we negotiate. That's how you play the game on eBay. Turns out, he accepts the offer. I was like, sweet, good. We're, we're, here we go. So I, I send him the money. Don't, don't hear him back from this guy at all. Do not hear him back from this guy whatsoever. But I send him the money, but he didn't take it. He, it's You know, it's kind of sitting there in PayPal, what they call PayPal Purgatory, waiting for him to collect it. A couple of weeks. And this is back This is back in September. September, when this thing came out. You know, towards the end of September, early October. And he finally, it's sitting there, in, like I said, in purgatory. He ain't taking it. And then all of a sudden he takes it. I'm like, oh, good. Now I guess any minute this thing's going to start coming in the mail. But then I look and I see it's from Ontario. And I knew you're going to take a while to come from Canada. It takes forever. So weeks go by, two weeks go by. I send a dude a message. He don't even reply. It's like he's, like he's, you know, I'm like, oh, man. This is an eBay. This is an eBay nightmare, and I never had one of these on eBay going on. I've always had pretty good uh, success. I've never. I've been. It's been perfect with me on eBay, but I, and I, you always hear the, the war stories, and I figure this is it again. This will be one of them. Turns out, turns out the guy's not even from Ontario. He's from Ontario, California. So I should have been here quickly. But the end, the end, the end result. This thing came in the mail yesterday. We're December. What is it? December tenth yesterday. This came in the mail yesterday. Fun. I even I even forgot about it. I I I I didn't want to. I don't. You know. Even and then when I went on eBay again, I even gave him a good rating because I didn't want any. Because uh, my rating is good. You know, everything on eBay is based on your, on your rating. So I want. I don't want to. I don't want him getting mad at me and saying I gave him a crappy rating. But at the end of the day, here it is. And I haven't even seen any box breaks of these online either. I can't see. Have anybody seen this on on a box break? I get to see it, so here we go. This is a centennial set. This is all the history of um you know celebrating the hundred year anniversary and, and the maple leaves are hitting the hundred year. So pretty soon they're gonna start coming out, I guess, as the teams get up to a hundred. But this is cool. I thought this was a cool idea. You know? And you're getting two autographs, two autographs per box. It also means it's gotta be a pretty historic autograph. It ain't gonna be no uh you know, backup goalie for the nineteen crappy team, you know, whatever. It's got to be some substantial autographs going on here. So, here we go. Ce celebrating 100 years of uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Five member billiard cards. I thought this was a cool idea. I'm surprised. All, I'm so surprised Upper Deck didn't make like a 100 year set. Because everybody's celebrating 100 years this year. But, you know, that, that's me thinking out loud. But they didn't make it. So, enough of me yapping. You know how this goes. I seen I seen I seen a couple of breaks of blast boxes, and I seen a couple of breaks of um of uh, those tins, the collector's tins. But no, this is the first hobby box I've seen, the one that showed up to my door. So let's see what happens. This could be cool. This could be cool. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really curious to see what kind of ink I'm gonna get. You should get a store of cake. I mean, a hundred years of, hundred years, and I'm also pretty sure I'm going to butcher a lot of these names. But here we go. There's Dougie Gilmore on the cover, obviously. There, five cards per pack. So let's see what happens. Let's see what these look like.
First card, Nick Mentz. All right, not bad. Dion Fanook. There you go. Rick Wiley. Decoy. Gary Lehman. He played from uh, the 80s. 84. Oh, back in the day. Red Horner. He played from... Uh, there you go. 28 through the 40s. That was a pretty cool... Let's see what we got here. Leo Kamarov. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Johnny Bauer. <laughs> this guy looks like... What's his face from those movies? Uh, oh, Liam Neeson. Johnny Bauer looks like Liam Neeson. Whoa! Here we go. We got our first ink. Mike Commissaric? I'm not even sure who this guy is. 2009, 2010 area, area, area. From the from the old from the uh, from 09 to 13. Yeah, I guess they weren't going to be historical autographs. Dave Hannon and Red Kelly. Ooh, something happened somewhere. Here we go, Robert Reichel. He's played for a few years. Peter Imnikak. Imnikak. He was there for seven years. At one o'clock. Hey, he was a good guy. He was good. Captain's. Captain's card. Lori Boschman and Shane Corson. He was at three seasons. There we go. I like to I like to look at the cards though. I like to look at the, the blue ones with the uh it's a pretty sharp card. Billy Bing and Billy Berg. Howie Meeker. Where was he from? Oh memorable moment card. So these are this is like an insert. Whoa, a die cutter Carlton. The mascot. The mascot was founded in 1995 and he's still going. Here's a little trivia question. Can, can you name the two teams? There's 31 teams. What two teams don't have a mascot? There's two of them. Yeah, uh, think about it and I'll give you the answer at the end of this video. Bill, De, Bill Delario, Delago, some of these names I'm going to butcher. There's no doubt about it. Wilf Pavement. He played there from 79 to 82. I tell you, every, every pack has got a decoy. Every single one of them. Brian Beard. Oh, no, Brian Burrard. That's right. Jonas Hogland. Johnny Bauer again, or as we know, Liam Neeson. Trophy winners. Oh, Jim Morrison. Centennial. 1950 to 58. 51 to 58. Nice. Congratulations. Is, is this guy like in a Hall of Fame or something for them? Got to look into him. Got to look into Jim Morrison. The one that's not the singer for the Doors. And Jason Blake. Oh, Dougie Gilmore, but the car's kind of, somebody chewed it a little bit. What happened here? It's got a little hook. It's got a little hook action going on. Look at that repair job. Instant repair job. Got to put that between two books for a week. Brian Glennie. Charlie Connick, Hall of Fame. Take Irwin. Gary Roberts. Not really that much inserts, huh? Got the die cut mascot. And that was it. Jamie uh, McCown. I'm not sure what that is. 
Alan McCooley. I'm not sure. Oh, here he is. Record holders. Felix. Felix Potman. Nice. Some die cut action of Grand Fuhr. Nice. That's cool looking. Mark Osborne. From the late 80s to the 90s. Look at that. So every pack is still got the decoy in it. Bruce Boudreau. Hey, Bruce Boudreau. Is that the guy who's the coach? Zoom in, zoom in. Is this the, uh, come on, come on, focus, focus. That looks like the coach from the, um, Wild. Daryl Siddler. Captains, Bob Davidson. Rick Volley again. Oh, Edzo. Eddie Elchuk. Battling cancer right now. We got to give him the, uh, got to give him some special mojo. Good vibes. You got to get him back. Oh, a little, little decoy. Russ Courtnall. Hall of Famer, Ed Horder. Charlie Conica, die cut. Mike Johnson. Tom Fergus. Jim Dory. Lanny with his big mustache. Lanny McDonald. Wow. He played back in 73. He was playing. Wow. I think I was on the 89 uh, Flame Team with his mustache. 20 years he was going. Oh, here we go. William Needle on a die cut. That's a good card. And Gordy Dilron or Drill On. Gordy Drill On played from the 30s to the 40s. Harry Limley. Oh, back to back. Harry Limley, Hall of Fame card. Die cut. Brian Barad. Pat Boliet. Oh, Dmitry Yuskevich. Nice. The Eagle. Eddie Belfort. Phil Kessel, Gary Roberts, Decoy, Morgan Riley, oh baby, like he's like his uh, pop, his hockey pop, Morgan Riley, and Barry, Re Barry Melrose, the analyst, wow, who knew, I like that. Here we go, Mike Gartner. Mike uh, Folagrino. Daryl Sutter. Bjord Slamlin. <laughs> Not sure what that is. King Clancy. Come on, I want some ink. I want, some, I want to get three inks. I want to get greedy. Wendell Clark, Bob Bond, Norm Ullman, Glenn Anderson die cut. I like these die cuts. There's a lot of them. I'm surprised there's so many of them. It's going to be that much. Ally Afraidy. I should have separated these die cuts. Oh well. Style apps. Well, Sly apps. Guy played from the 30s to uh, the 48. And here he is, Nassim Kadri. That guy's cool. Rick Vile again. Oh, Eddie Olchek. Die cut. And Errol Thompson. And coming down to the end here. But it is a nice set. I do like it. Like, I like the idea of the. Uh, the Maple Leaf as a backdrop. 
Daryl Maros, I'm not sure what that is. Miari Sharp Fella. I was gonna butcher that dude's name. Eddie Belfour. Giannis Hogland. Here he is, Mitch Martin. That's a good uh good guy nowadays. Present day player. We get some more Austin Matthews. That'd be good. Vincent Dampus. Thomas Cabrillet. Ricky Val again. The tenth card I had Ricky Val. Jamie McCowan. Die cut. And Dave Reed. And we got left here. We got about five or six packs. Frank Marvelich? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, here he is, present day, Freddie Anderson. Felix Potman. Eddie Shack. Jim Morrison. I got his, uh. So let's see, is he a Hall of Famer? I don't know. Seven seasons with the. With the temp, I mean, with the. Toronto. Bob Neely. Memorable moments, Dougie Gilmore. Rick Viley, might as well get him as a die cut. I've had many other, every other possible way. Frederick Modine. Billy Barrico. Maliko. Dan Maloney. Felix Potman. Retired numbers, Dougie Gilmore. That's a nice card. Mike Krushelinski. There we go. Gary Volk. Howie Meeker. Alan Bester. Here he is. Terry Sawchuck. Bob Rouse. Kenny Bumgartner. Down, down to three packs. The final three. Alan Bester. Frank Mowlich. King Clancy die cut. Jim McKinley, Ace Bailey, down to two packs, and no Austin Matthews, or or uh, and, and Neely, uh, William Neely, Tyler Bozak, Terry Martin, Lanny McDonald, what is his big mustache? Oh, open my mouth, here he is, Austin Matthews, baby. Nice. Ron Ellis. Todd Warner. Ian Tartable. Darren Sittler. Leo Komarov. Die cut. And then Terry Sawchuck. So it turns out there was a lot of those, uh, a lot of those die cuts. Let me see if I can pick them out without. There we go. The Brian Barad. I think that's it in this little batch. I started taking them out. Yeah, here we go. But it was William Nylander. William Nylander. Charlie Conica, Grand Fuhr, oh, Carlton again, Carlton, the mascot. Oh, by the answer, by the way, the answer to that trivia question: Which two teams that review? Are the, what are the two teams in the NHL that don't have mascots? That would be the Rangers and the Flies. Everybody else has got one. So 
So how many is die cuts are in this box? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 12 die cut uh, Maple Leaf cards. That's pretty cool. And then the two inks. Two inks. Jim Morrison from the 50s. They're both on card, too. Those weren't even stickers. These are on card. And Mike uh, Komisarek. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. That they, were, they weren't stickers. This guy's from the 50s, and he signed the card. That's pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. So there you have it. The Centennial set... But it's Toronto Maple Leafs. I thought that was pretty cool. Now pretty soon you're gonna start getting a lot of these teams. I know I know one of the Rangers that had I think they're at 91. So you gotta assume the at least at least the original six, the Canadians, uh, uh, the Red Wings, Bruins, and, and uh who else? Rangers, Red Bulls. They gotta start pumping out uh centennial sets for them too. That was pretty cool. That's a nice idea. And still I don't know why I didn't do one for the uh the hundredth year. There's all the celebrations for a hundred years. They should have came out with a like a set like this. What for the hundred those hundred players that they picked? Ten of you would have got two autographs. It's an old baby. But then that box would probably would have been about six hundred dollars. But still, here we go. Not bad. A little a little a little hiccup here trying to get it to find the uh, hobby box. But here it is. The Toronto Maple Leafs Centennial set. Till next time. Uh, 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 adios.